Hi there, my name is Matt Cole. And I'm Brian Garrity. And we are the producers of the Sexperts Podcast. Before we begin the show, we would just like to give a huge thanks to our guests during this episode, Aaron Lindstrom, Jen Weir Edwards, and Lucy Hall of Mom Jeans Sketch Comedy. Mom Jeans has their first full-length sketch show coming up at the Push Comedy Theater on a special day and time, Sunday, May 21st at 12 p.m. And speaking of the Push Comedy Theater, we would like to give a huge thanks to the Pushers. We are students of theirs, and if you would like to learn sketch, stand-up, or improv comedy, and you're in the Hampton Roads area, please sign up for a class at pushcomedytheater.com. And don't forget to find the podcast on social media. We are The Real Sexperts on Instagram, The Real Sexperts on Twitter, Sexperts Podcast on Facebook, and if you have questions or show topic suggestions, email them to therealsexperts at gmail.com. Without further ado, everything you're about to hear is made up on the spot, so please enjoy another episode of The, the Sexperts. Sexperts. Recording and intro music, intro music, intro music, and hi there! Welcome to the Sexperts Podcast. I am your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, CPM. And I am uh, Delilah Haydare, and I uh, just recently got hired as the first white Harlem Globetrotter. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Are you on uh, tour yet? Uh, not yet, but in the spring. Okay. I mean, in the summer, and... Um, <laughs> we'll get your seasons right. <laughs> hey, I've been in the garage practicing a lot of time. A lot of solo well, dribbling. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that uh, solo dribbling. Wow. Uh, speaking of solo dribbling, um, this week, our topic of the day, and just as a reminder on this uh, pod push, uh, every week we're coming to you live with a different topic of the day, uh, and this topic is all about that bass. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's kind of like that song by Jessica Trainer. All about that bass. However, uh, we're spelling bass this week B A B A S E. Oh. So I'm referring to baseball. <laughs> no, no, the base of the, of the penis. Uh, so we're all about the because the base of the penis gets lost in the shuffle. There's the shaft. There's the tip. The balls. We're gonna be talking all about that bass uh, today. It's about time. It's about time the bass uh, shines. But we actually have some uh, very exciting guests today. I don't want to talk too much about us today. I know the first white... <laughs> I think there's been white Harlem Globetrotters before. They, they, <laughs> they assured me I was the first. <laughs> okay. All right. As long as that's in your contract. All right. Uh, so before we uh, get too chatty, uh, we have three very special guests today and uh they're sitting patiently listening to us ramble on like two chatty cathy's but why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves to our, our listeners out there hi hi uh my name is dotsy buchanan dotsy mm. yes and uh i am a local business owner mm -hmm. i have a jewelry store and i'm here with my daughter and yeah. my granddaughter oh wow mm. three generations yes. this is a first okay yes and who else do we have here? I, I can't actually tell which one's the, the daughter and which one's the granddaughter. Oh, my God. Don't say that. It goes right to their oh. head. <laughs> that is so flattering. I am oh. Bitsy Buchanan. I'm actually the daughter in this, though okay. I know it can be hard to tell. Um, Charming. I also am a local business mm -hmm. owner, really proud to carry the uh, women's movement multiple oh, generations wow. on. And I'm a wedding planner. Oh, my golly. Mm -hmm. and, and who do we have over here? Mm, that was lovely, Mom. <laughs> Grandma. Mm -hmm. oh. Hi, I'm hey. Jill Buchanan, also a local business owner. Um, oh, I'm wow. a divorce attorney. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Making locals really... happy. There's a theme going here. Which Absolutely. Is jewelry, wedding, divorce. <laughs> Just... You go to the jeweler to get the ring. Yeah. Then you go to the wedding, and then you get divorced. We, yeah. we work a lot on referrals. <laughs> There's a lot of referrals. That is true. So much repeat business. Yeah. Well, you know, true. you need a fourth yeah. generation to get a, a funeral uh, parlor oh. person in there, right? Oh, that's oh. good. Like, that's from the cradle good. to the grave. If Jill would ever get married and have a baby, maybe we could carry the book, the group on. That's but true. Mm, my that's career true. is very important to me. Mm, I'm God, sure it is. You guys, I'm sure it is. We're doing a podcast. Can we wait till later? Can we, uh, That's what you always say. I'll wait till later. I'll wait till later. You know, later doesn't always come, Jill. Later is now. Well, speaking of coming, uh, I do want to get to our uh, topic of the day at one point. Um, and we have three ladies on here, so I think they can offer a unique perspective to our topic of the day, which is all about that base. Um, as a, a member of the male um, race, uh, I have a lot of the male genitalia. Um, <laughs> but not all of it. I didn't, well, I didn't say that. Uh, remember, we're all about that base today. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. Well, I have a base as well, being part of the male 
species. Speaking of base, you actually have a big fan base, which I didn't want to give it I away. See what you did there. But like these that. three people, I, like I don't know that. if you can guess, these three people have a special connection to you. Can you guess what it is? Um, the first three generations of one family that I've slept with. <laughs> oh. Whoa, oh, wait. Oh, wait. I didn't know we were going to be on Maury's <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh, just a guess. Just a guess. I mean, that would make sense. Uh, they're actually the head of your fan club, your fan base. That's oh, why I said base. Oh, the Delilah Haydares Foundation. Yes. Mm, that Delilah. makes more sense. Delilah, had we been the first family, you'd remember the Buchanans. <laughs> oh, very true. It's true. Very true. Yeah, you but got... we are proud of your basketball feet. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, I've uh, been dribbling in my garage alone for 15 years, eight hours a day. Oh, God. Practice then, makes perfect. And then I end with a 45-minute finger spin. <laughs> Well, that's a, that's the forty five minute finger spin is a topic for the, another day, um, but yeah, I'm really curious uh, what goes on at the jewelry store that we don't know about, like behind the scenes. What are some? What's giving? Let's dish. What do you? Oh. What like? What happens? Well, sometimes people bring in their jewelry that's yeah. really dirty. Oh, and we need to just soak it mm-hmm. and then really clean it. Just uh, really get. In there. So, what, what kind of dirt do you find in there? Is it like literally dirt, or just like mm. Cheeto dust? What skin oh. and body fluids? What? See, with a voice like that and that type of talk, you could see why I had to hit the grandmother. <laughs> mm. Okay, I remember. Uh, I remember Grandma Buchanan. <laughs> July 4th, I, have, I have to apologize, Doctor. Yeah. We're a little worried that mm. Mama's slipping into a bit of dementia. Oh, no. Mm. Wait, so there's not body fluids, or what's going on here? There may well be, but we've asked her not to talk about that. It oh. is a family business. Okay. And yeah. I've heard this was a family show. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's go right under the line. We've heard the dirt, literally, uh, from the jewelry store. Now let's go to the... What's the craziest sort of wedding sort of scheme sort of thing that, that you've encountered? You ever oh, been? Oh dear! Have you ever facilitated a YouTube video of a couple singing down the aisle? Oh, <laughs> more times than I can count. More times tell, than I tell can us about count. your favorite one. Oh, they're frankly they're just a little bit sad to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but the best wedding that we ever managed yeah. was a nude wedding. Everyone from grandma down <laughs> to the flower girl, oh, shit. everyone Wait. was naked, <laughs> naked on the beach. It was fantastic. Naked except for, of course, their Buchanan jewels. <laughs> 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 Which, speaking of which, uh, Buchanan Jewels is one of our sponsors today, and that's their tagline. Buchanan Jewels. Jewels should be kept in the family. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. and, uh, We're speaking, really proud of that one. Speaking of keeping jewels in the family, our topic of the day today uh, is... Um, oh, is somebody... That, hold on, I gotta I'm go get the door. Mama might have had a seizure. No, I'm, I'm well, expecting... My, maybe we might have a fourth generation. My, my brother's uh, going to stop by, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, get that. Go ahead and uh, well, so, uh, all about gone, the base. About the, all about gone, the base. Uh, this gives us a chance to talk about the base of the penis. Um, but before I get to that, um, I've never been in one of those cars with the really no, loud base. <laughs> I don't have time. Um, but I've been near them. I don't have time, Anthony. I wonder. Have you ever been in one? Can you time. hear the rattling inside the car, or is I, that just outside the car? I would like to think that you really feel. The vibrations. Mm. To me, I just hear a rattling bumper like it's going to fall off. Mm. And I'm like, that doesn't sound like music to me. Mm. I'm just, my, 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 my hope, my fear with the Harlem Can Globetrotter gig. Can I stop gig. you just for one moment? Oh, please. He never shuts up. Jill, if you don't pipe down, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a lot of animosity amongst you guys. It's just because you're always around each other. What is, Listen, what, is, what is up with this? I am here. I am in person. I had to answer a couple emails. Business is booming. This is what you wanted. Yeah, t- talk about your business a little bit. You're, Sweetheart, you're if you were things. ever off your phone, you might find a husband. <laughs> oh, oh, God. My business. <laughs> God, I'm in the business of making people happy through divorce. Uh, tell us about your uh, your funnest divorce. Ever any uh, YouTube divorce videos? Um, no, but I <laughs> will say that one. nude family, yeah. <laughs> that was a fun boardroom session. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they actually went through the line. They got a, a ring from Buchanan Jewels. They got the wedding planned by the Buchanans, and they got divorced by the Buchanans. But don't get the yeah. wrong idea. And Jill, I blame you. Oh, jeez. 
Don't get the wrong idea about nude weddings. Yeah. Only like 15% of them end in a divorce. <laughs> uh, that number is growing every day. Trust me, business is booming. Especially from the nudes. From the nudes? Yeah, no one wants to see that shit as time goes on. Did they start off nude or did they become nudists? Or it, was this... In this case, they, were, they started in college. Oh, wow. I was thinking about starting a, a nude Huey Lewis cover band. <laughs> Called. Huey Lewis and the Nudes. Huey Lewis and the Nudes, yeah. Wow. You have a beautiful mind. Oh, my. God. You guys really do have a connection. This is great. Did I tell all three of you person. that before? Maybe that's the thing is you're not the first uh, white Harlem Globetrotter. You're going to be the first nude Harlem Globetrotter. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Meadowlark Lemon would be so proud. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> he, was the first, he was the first black Harlem Globetrotter. <laughs> God, before you really that, do know your history. Yeah, before that, they'd all been Filipino. <laughs> what? Little known guess, fact. Little known fact. I guess you, you've you definitely been doing your homework. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, um, well, let's get to uh, our, our sponsors for the day. We haven't even... Well, we Buchanan one. Jewels. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have a, a large chunk. Well, thank, thank you so much for, for, for that. We've got the pizza. Um, and uh, we want to get to our other sponsor today. Uh, Buchanan Wedding Planning. Buchanan Wedding Planning, which actually... I just, it rhymes. <laughs> Buchanan wet and planning. I feel like we're a little guilty of product placement. <laughs> this podcast. I feel, I feel like a shill. You know, full disclosure. Yeah. We have financial relationships as well as sexual relationships <laughs> with all three Buchanans. <laughs> and I don't have any of my hands in, in this, so. Yeah, it's not really about the hands all the not. time, you know? Oh, God. Well, speaking of that. This is really all about, about that face. <laughs> oh, Doctor. all about that face. Oh, oh, absolutely. Thank you for keeping me on track. Yeah. Cars that go boom. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a, a chart uh, for you guys. Um, and if you notice, we have the shaft here. We have the tip here hmm. all the way back. You wow. say a chart, but it yeah. really looks like a photograph you took using <laughs> your phone. Is that correct? Uh, is that your penis? It's, oh, God. There's a bit of crayon on it. That's a bit disturbing. It's all about I don't even know base. if that's legal. <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's definitely legal. I, oh, Dr. T, Dr. John is... Uh, <laughs> Dr. T. Dr. Dr. T. I <laughs> put it a fool. <laughs> Do you have a picture of that? No, yeah, deliver- that was a man I'd like to marry. <laughs> I deliver the fool. Um, <laughs> Dr. T. Guy, no. <laughs> Dr. T. O. B. G. O. N. Certified midwife. Oh, oh, we do much more than that. I, I know you're playing. Please don't joke about certified professional midwives. Uh, you know, I hate it when you do that. It is a not well respected religion. Can we not and let practice. the Buchanan's hostility? <laughs> is it hot in here? Oh my god! Yeah, you guys. Really, I'm sorry to say this, but I I know you're our sponsors, but you're giving off kind of a an, antagonistic sort of sort of vibe here. How do you guys put up Ladies, with each other? Let's all let's all have a breath together. All right, we love okay. each other. <gasps> <sighs> That's it. See, we're all getting along here mm. at the Sexperts Podcast. Mm. Golly, so um. Let's go around the room. What annoys you most about her? <laughs> about Grams? Yeah. Well, she's constantly talking about bodily fluids and how I need more of them in my life. Yes, mm. she is. Oh. Well, what? <laughs> What's up, Grams? Delilah, oh. you're kind of rude. <laughs> okay, your turn. What annoys you about her? Mm. Everyone gets a turn, by the way. <laughs> I can't wait to give she's, mine about Delilah. She's still single. Oh. It's a choice. I'm consciously wait, making. Now, okay, so I don't want to get in on this, okay? I understand that single women make their own life choices now, but when you do decide now, to get not married... previously. Only now. <laughs> Ever since, like, 87? I think it was 87 <laughs> when the first You're Black Harlem Globetrotter came. Buff. Geraldine Ferraro. Such a bad Geraldine <laughs> Ferraro said stop. Anyways, so do you plan on divorcing yourself? Oh, that, uh, you know, wow. I'm you sorry, are, question. Divorcing yeah. herself from yeah. herself, or should she get married in the future? Is this divorcing? a metaphysical question? This is getting... This is kind of deep. <laughs> this is pretty deep. Dr. John's question. I'm are sorry, like I plan weddings. Metaphysics whatever. really don't enter into that, so mm. this whole conversation's a little confusing You plan for boring me. weddings, then. <laughs> okay, now your turn. What an- Sarah, that wasn't very I will nice. ask you to respect my daughter. Oh, Thank I you, like Mom. that. See, it takes it takes one bully Thank to, you, Mom. to team up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, what annoys you most about Graham Graham? Oh, the dementia. What? Yeah, you mentioned this several times. You seem, maybe this is a lucid moment. I thank you so much for that. But what about her not-so-lucid moments? What are some of the, her antics? <laughs> well, there's been more than one opportunity when I've had to stop her from scooting her butt across the carpet to wipe off the poop. It's really... Her own pooper. Simultaneously troubling and stinky, really. It's well, quite awful. Speaking of this 
crazy. There, there is a that. puppy pad on this couch, mm-hmm. right? Our one, Ooh. our one non Buchanan sponsor. Yeah. For today oh, yeah. Sorry, we had to have um, one. Daiwa's uh, pet wipes. <laughs> <laughs> Daiwa's pet wipes. Uh, if you haven't noticed, you've had that dog for like seven years and never wiped his ass once. Yeah. You know, Daiwa's actually our cousin. You what? know, as it happens. <laughs> Daiwa's is one of our major supporters for the weddings. We need those. You'd be surprised how many brides shit themselves. Are you, what are you guys saying? Daiwa's? Is that the, the little things in uh, the um, Star Wars on the sand planet? What are those things with the flashing eyes? Those are Jawas. So those aren't Daiwa's? No. Daiwa is a brand name of yeah. pet butt wipes <laughs> that sponsored our podcast. Okay. Week. Well, I guess I'm all caught up then. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, speaking of all caught, who happens to be the Buchanan's cousin? Speaking of all caught up, and uh, this is a, a podcast. There's no video, but I'm pointing my finger up towards the sky right now. Speaking of caught up, as in an erection, our topic we of the day. <laughs> well, this is a podcast. I have to explain. Uh, I'm doing this motion. I'm flicking. Maybe we'll put a video on the website of me flicking my finger up like a penis. But anyways, our topic of the day is all about that base B A S E. But doctor, yeah. when you flip your finger up like that, you know what it makes me think of? What? It makes me think of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Mm. I'm so I didn't know you guys were uh, religious at all. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I, I may have assumed that you were uh, like Mormons because you all have sex with the same man, but uh, uh, that was an accident. Speak for yourself. I can confirm three missionary positions. <laughs> you uh, here's okay. Uh, my turn. What I don't like about Delilah, do not give him a secret. He will he will tell everyone in the world. Is that a secret? Do you guys want your sex lives to be known? Known? I can't remember the last time I had sex with someone who didn't want to shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> mm. I had sex with the first white nudist Harlem Globetrotter! That is a bit of a feather in your cap. <laughs> I bet your mama's proud. My mama's never proud of me. Oh, Mama Hey Dare has already bought her season tickets for the Globetrotters. But the weird thing about that is we're in a different city every week, so... Uh, I had to set her up with a Honda Civic. Wow. <laughs> um, so she could go from town to town. Okay, well, you know, I didn't know that you guys knew that much about Delilah. Um, it's now time for one of my favorite segments of the podcast. Uh, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and introduce my favorite segment? Uh, <laughs> You're prepared for that. Segments. Segments. Segments of his imagination. <laughs> okay, and welcome. Uh, this is uh, Dr. John T. Alani, CPM's Segments of My Imagination. So we're going to have a, a little game for you guys. Since I coming into this, I knew that you guys were going to be um, Delilah's favorite fans. I didn't know you knew them that much. I have some I've trivia. I've had sex with everyone in my fan club. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Delilah wears a 32 long and his favorite color is purple okay well there goes two of my trivia questions okay well um so i have some questions <coughs> okay well there we go all right so that's <laughs> thank you for demonstrating the, the object of the game um i'm gonna ask you some trivia questions about delilah whoever rings in first uh go ahead and answer uh whoever wins actually i guess this isn't so much of a prize but <laughs> they went you win a date with delilah so i don't know if you're into that at mm. a harlem go trotter game you <laughs> sit center court <laughs> with your mom with my mom Okay, uh, here we go. Who, who will be drunk? First question: What is Delilah's biggest fear? Oh, oh, yeah, he told me about that. Karaoke, <laughs> karaoke, ding, ding, ding. Bonus point: uh, Biggest fear of a song that he's going to do it uh, karaoke. Hit me with your best. Hit shot. me with your best shot. Obviously. I actually, have a nice, I, I'm I, sorry. That song is Delilah. I actually, <laughs> good, good one. <laughs> I actually had a nightmare uh, on that topic. Um, that I was at a karaoke competition nationwide, and I was in third place, and I had to do better to get win, and uh, I won, and they renamed the the, the competition, um, Hey Darioki. <laughs> Fuck me! Wow. <laughs> okay, next question. It's a dream. You can't control. Your okay, uh, next question. Um, what is the most embarrassing moment in Delilah's high school history? Yes. He would get chronic erections in class from wearing pants that were too tight. I'm not sure if I mentioned he's a 32 long. <laughs> okay, what's That's actually my second favorite, second I, most embarrassing. What's the first? The string of elderly women I 
had sex with. You had sex with your teachers? Oh, no. They were much too young. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Librarian? <laughs> They, anyone that Friends, had a, grandmothers? Just grandmothers. Okay, so we, we got a point, a point, and we actually have a half a point for knowing the size. Grandmothers uh, and those, jewelers uh, and the sweet spot was pants, when they which it, It's all about the friction, or all about the base. Okay, here we go. Uh, next question. Um, what is uh, Delilah's mom's pet name for him? Oh, yes? Go for it. It's DeLovely. <laughs> DeLovely! Wow. He actually <laughs> had me call him that. When we were Me together. too. With my, with my fan club, I have a magazine I publish once a month, <laughs> and I share some of these secrets with them. I don't think so. Um, I think you may... This is getting gross. Okay, here we go. Final question. Whoever wins, it's, uh, it's all tied up. A point, a point apiece. Mm, all tied up. And we're rounding up. down. Oh, God. Brings me back, doesn't it? <laughs> Doctor, um, yeah. I was wondering, what is the prize associated with this again? Uh, a, a date center court with my mom in center court at home go try to game here we go oh, with your drunk. mom okay. and, a, and a, vouch, mom. a voucher for a slice of pizza and a coke is final your, question is it your mom's pizza what is Delilah's greatest aspiration in life dead air's not helping anybody oh there we go <laughs> Well, when Delilah and I were together, his yeah. greatest aspiration was to one day buy a diamond from Buchanan Jewels and Ooh. then one day get married. No, that's a shameless plug. That is, not, that is incorrect. Okay, you guys have a chance to seal. He wants to be a farmer. Okay, I said it. He wants to be a farmer? Yes. Uh, you can steal it by being more specific. He wants to be a dirt farmer. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Somebody's reading their Delilah magazine. It looks like Grandma wins. Well, congratulations. So, again, I don't know if you want it, but um, you're going to win a date. Well, speaking of winning. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Our, our topic of the day. Uh, oh, it looks like we're all out of time. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I'll put that chart, uh, that photograph of me up on, I mean, of that the might, male genitalia online. That might be illegal. <laughs> I would like to thank so much uh, the Buchanan family, um, Grandma, Ma, and little darling Buchanan, thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, I'd like to recommend a uh, family therapist, perhaps <laughs> off air, that has helped me and my family very well. And uh, once again, we are your sex experts. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Dr. John T. Alani, CPM. And my name is Delilah Haydare, point guard for the Harlem Globetrotters. See you sex time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.